Oh, here we go. Right. So, as we were saying, you know, if you to submit to, to uh, any entity, yeah, what one has to do is now the entity. For example, if I ask you, if you ask me how I know, how I know Allah Jalla wa Ala, it would be an easy question, an easy answer for me to say, well, look, I know him through his speech. His speech is the Quran. Then you can see what well, there are other scriptures and that. Now, but there is something which we ha have in us that is called natural inclination. This natural inclination, it guides you, it helps you to reach that point of that this is the true entity. And because I find truth in there, so I submit holy. Now you might say it's a religion, but where does it come from? It comes from him. So, so since it is from him, and as we were saying, how did I know? Because the one, the people that wrote it, they perform things that no one can perform. No, no, for sure, for sure, because I believe in the prophets. Yeah. But the issue is this. So, even within the Quran, it says, I think uh, I've read the first chapter, the first, uh, what do you call it? The first chapter is in Fatiha, the Uthnin. Yeah, I've read that. And in that, it says, when you need guidance, you go to God. Yeah, it says, uh, it says Alhamdulillah, all praise be to uh, the, the Lord of the, the world. Yeah, yeah. I think it's at the four. Uh, uh, the, 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 the most, the, the most uh, compassionate. Yeah. The most merciful. Yeah. And then it says the most compassionate, most merciful again. The master of judgment. The master of the of judgment. Yeah. The one. You alone look. Now, this is in the Arab kind of uh, structure. If we would have said, we worship you, it would have meant, it would have meant that there are other deities that can be worshipped rightly. But when in the Arab language, when you use, it means you alone we worship because you alone are worthy of worship and none of the other deities are worthy of worship. So this, this iyaka and the eloquence of the Arab language, that's why when the Arabs, they were so eloquent, and when this message came to them, it, it was it was kind of heart-taking. It's not, some of them say, well, it's not kind of like Allah Jalla wa Ala says, وَمَا هُوَ بِقَوْلِ شَاعِرِ Because there are so many poets at the time. Every tribe had a poet and they used to encourage poets with money and everything. Because it was something that he could defy, uh, defend them, you know, and, uh, 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 and kind of make them famous and that. Which happened so many times in, in the history of uh, the pre Islamic history and also in the Islamic history. Now, when they heard the Quran, it was something different. It resonated, it resonated with, the, with the heart. So, this iyyaka, you alone will. And you alone will see the help from. Yeah, you alone will you alone see the help from. So, for me, this is why I don't find that I need religion. Because you don't go to religion to see God. You go to God for guidance okay. to see God. Okay. okay. Now, now, this religion, this religion, for example, you say love, compassion, humility, truth. Yeah. How do you come about them? Common sense. Common sense. This common sense, who gave it to you? God. God. Yeah. Now, this common sense that has been given to you, when you read in the Quran, and these things that you say common sense, you find them in the Quran, but it goes even further than that. Doesn't it resonate to you that this message, especially when it is the speech of Allah, it's Kalam Rabbina. It's Allah in the Quran, when you read the Quran, it's Allah talking to us. It's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talking to us. You know? And and subhanAllah, for example, this opening, the uh, the uh, Al Fatiha, yeah. Uh, one of its names also Salat. It's, it's praise we call it Salat. 
Yes, yeah. uh -huh. Our time in the bar. Because this is a hadith, you know, we also follow the tradition of the yes. Prophet. Which I don't agree with, yeah. but that's another story. So the tradition of the Prophet, it's also revelation, it's inspired. So it's not like the Prophet used to talk of his own, or of his own accord. Because, because looks of it, it actually explains the Quran and a lot of the things they complete the Quran, so they complete each other, and it's mentioned in the Quran itself. But however, that's that's yeah, a we'll, different we'll subject. That aside, yeah. That's a different subject. We'll say now, that for next week. Now, now Allah wa ala, says in a hadith, and this is this hadith Qudsi. Hadith Qudsi, it means when Allah wa ala, it's lesser than the Quran, but it's Allah speaking to us, and He says. That I have divided prayer, and it's not prayer, it's al Fatiha, he called it Salat. Between me and my servant. Okay. If my servant says, Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah, the, the, the Lord of the world, I say, Hamidani Abdi, that my servant has praised me. Then when I say Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, uh, the, the, the most compassionate, the most merciful, he says, "Athna alayya abdi," meaning my my servant has thanked me. Yeah. Then Majjadani abdi on the on the following verse, meaning he glorified me, and it comes on. So you see, Allah Jalla wa Ala is talking to us through here. Every word we say, He answers back. This is just in the opening. And it's, it's also one of its names, it's uh, Sab al Mafani. It's the seven most of, often repeated verses because if you, if you look throughout the Quran, and it, you know, one of the things in the Quran we have got uh, Al Mujmal wal, uh, wal Mufassal. Al Mujmal is the overall, and the Mufassal is the detail. So this, this chapter is an overall. But if you go to the second chapter, third chapter, you'll find this first chapter in detail. In detail in there. Detail to the, I mean, to the minutest point. Yeah, because, like, for me, when I read that al Fatiha, I was like, this basically is good enough. And the rest of it seems like it would just be extra stuff. The beginning, like you would say in any book, would be the most important thing. If you were going to have like a, a manual or something, you'd have the most important details at the beginning. And then you'd have the rest of the explanations and then send it back. But he says, إِهْدِنَ السَّرَاطَ مُسْتَقِيمٌ Guide us to the right path. Is it that important? No, that's why I say, that's why I say when I, people ask me, uh, because I get asked about my beliefs a lot. I say there's only one God. They say, okay, what, did, what does God want from you? And I say, okay, God only wants us to worship Him. He doesn't want us to worship anything else but ourselves. And He wants us to be righteous. And that's it. And within Al Fatiha, I can see all of those three things I've said are part of Al Fatiha. So I'm like, okay, cool. But the truth is there. The rest of it is extra stuff because unfortunately there's parts of the Quran I am still trying to understand as to why it's okay. For example, Surah 424. Uh, that is Surah 4? Uh, I mean you mean chapter 4 uh, you, oh. mean, yeah, you chapter mean chapter 4 verse 24. 24. I have to get verse. It's something along the lines of if your right hand possesses a slave woman that you can have relations with her even if she's married. No, no. <laughs> you, no. <laughs> Definitely not. Huh? Definitely Maybe not. Maybe 4.42 then. It's one of those two. Definitely, Definitely, Definitely not. So that's... Uh, so that's uh, sort of... Uh, you say chapter 4, yeah? yeah. Nisa. It isn't a verse like that in the Quran. I saw it in one of these uh, Islam uh, where they where they try to find problems with Islam. Yeah, and I, I don't I don't like that. That's, you see, you see where you find no, 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 no. it. But listen, 
I don't like those videos, but I found it there. Yeah. And one thing I always do is double check. I double check to see what the actual Quran says. <laughs> I double check to see what the Quran says because I think it's Absolutely. important to read it Absolutely. in context now, with the right thing. Now, now look. When war happens, we have to understand it in the context. Mm. Okay? When war happens, when war happens, and this is was and this is was prevalent at the time. No, no, just not in Islam, even in in, in Christianity, the Romans, when they were a Christian nation and that, it happened. Yeah. Now what happened was that the war will happen, people are killed. And then others are victorious, so they take the bounty. The sports of war. The sports of war include even women. Okay? So when they take it, now the women, as you said, might be married, but their husband have been killed. Okay? They are taken. Now, what happened after that? They don't just go and have, as you say, sexual intercourse with them. Okay? First of all, the woman had to, uh, what we call it, like, uh, clear, clear the womb, how the womb is clear. Three months or something. Yeah, three, yeah. Uh, the, the three, not three months, but three periods, because a cycle, it can be in 13 days, you know? So it's three cycles. Then three cycles, they mean that she's not childbearing. Childbearing. Yeah. You see? Yeah. So not, you tell me another religion does that. Now, if that woman, if that woman, she is not really, as they call, a slave. It's different. However, if that woman bear a child for the, the, the person who she's with, she becomes a free woman. No, but see, this is where I'm confused because I, I understand that in Islam, you are told to avert your eyes. Yeah. Um, and you shouldn't be following your lust. Yeah. And I think that's great because, yeah. like I said, unfortunately, lust is part of the world anyway. Yes. Self yes. Yes. When I see the surah, I'm thinking, why is it okay to have relations with the? Maybe she's a slave woman. Maybe she's not a slave. She's a servant. Or maybe she's a yeah. spoiler. Woman. But why does it not just say any woman that you have to battle? you have to marry before you have relations. Because it says if your right hand possesses her, yeah. then you can do it. And I think that that's allowing lust. No, it's not lust, but, but look, these people that have got these mates, that's called the mates, that have got these mates, yeah. they are married people. Yeah, but the, yeah. like you said, the husbands are dead. Yeah. No, what husbands? The husbands have died in the yeah, battle. Yeah. So, so they are, they are, Married the people, the people that have got this right word, these mates, they are married, they have got their wives. Okay, now he has, uh, he has a mate, it doesn't mean that he goes to the mate every, every, uh, every day or every he has got his wife, and most of the time at that time, it used to be more than one anyway. The reason being because there used to be lots of wars. Can you imagine how many widows are there? Yeah. So people, people, what they used to do, they don't leave a woman, so they will marry. So the Islam gives us four. But even on the four, there are conditions. The conditions that if you cannot, if you cannot provide and be just, and be just, yeah. Well, well, look, when it comes to love, nobody can control love. But we're talking about food, food, about uh, clothing, about a place where to live, that spending, for example, if you spend one night with this one, the following night you need to be with the other one, and so on and so forth. If you buy this one, you have to buy the other one, the same thing. But you know, the heart, you have got no control over your heart. You can control it. But well, look, sometimes when you, when you like some people more than you like others. I love everybody. I, I know. I know. Look, you love everybody, but there is still a kind of uh, some people you love them, but maybe the character is still. It's not that you are against the person, but against the character. Okay, I see what you're saying. You see what I mean? It's a lot of people they read in the Quran that uh, that, that the Muslims uh, they dislike the, the non-believers. But it's not that we dislike the non-believers. We dislike the non-belief. You see that the belief, the belief, that false belief, that's what we dislike. 
if that person becomes a Muslim, he is the most like person to us. Now, in the Quran, for example, Allah Jalla wa Ala, there is a verse that says Allah Jalla wa Ala does not prohibit us from being friendly to the people of the scriptures and others that have not kicked us, no, that have not kicked us out of our houses, meaning okay. they have not been oppressors against us. I'm not going to love my oppressor, would you? Yeah. Your oppressor that kill your mom, kill your children and that, and enslave you and do this and that. I love him. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I love them in the sense that I hope, I still pray that God will guide them. Yeah, yeah. But I am not... Like, the guidance, guidance is another thing. Praying yeah, but for I will guidance. Pray for I will yeah. Pray. Praying for guidance. Look, I wouldn't make them my enemy. I wouldn't have hate. Because once you have hate, it's, it's a bad thing. What I'm saying is, guidance, guidance, praying for guidance, we pray for guidance for everybody, okay? Even in the Quran, it says about the Prophet وسلم, and we have not sent you except a mercy to mankind. Now, if you go to the biography of Muhammad, وسلم, you will see the, the Meccan people, the one that killed his, his family, his friends, his followers, took the, their money, tortured, did every kind of thing, bad thing that you can think of. When he was victorious over them and he conquered Mecca and he went inside Mecca and they gathered them, he said to them, what do you think I'm going to do with you? So everybody, they thought that's it, they want to be slaughtered. Yeah? And he said to them, go, for you are the free ones. They were not Muslims. Mm. Well, that, that's the way you should Muslims. be. That's the way you should but be. But he, however, there are instances where the Prophet, peace be upon him, had to apply judgment. I tell you what, in a society, in any society, to maintain. You're, you're okay to come listen, but just uh, be quick. In, in any society, to maintain a good order, working order. You have to implement certain laws. Okay? Now, if a killer goes on a killing spray, and you just say, oh, I love you, you know, may God guide you. But he will go and kill again, and kill again. Now, what's happening to the other, to the rest of the society? The society will say, not everybody has got your idea. No, no, so, I, so the society would say, okay, I'm going to give myself hate, a gun. I wouldn't hate them, but I would, I may have punished them through compassion of the victims. You don't want any more victims, so for that compassion, I would stop him. Okay. But it's not because I hate him. Well, look, in Islam, for example, when someone kills someone on purpose, yeah? So, that person is at the mercy of the family of the victim. If they, if they forgive, that's it. You see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Allah has made it that because then people are suffering the loss. So, if they find it within them, compassion, they will forgive. And it happens so many times. But, but sometimes certain people, people are people. Emotions are different. Some people are self-worshipping, some people are not self-worshipping. Yeah. So, so, so when someone says no, a knife for a knife. Yeah, makes a bug of knife. Well, but some people will, but the others didn't. You see, that's what I'm saying to you. You are different than you are. I'm different than you. And this is why this is the beauty of you, uh, the, uh, the humanity, no, no, for sure. but that we are different. No, for sure, we're all different, but I completely agree with what you're saying, that you show compassion, you show do this, and uh, I'm sure there's examples of Muhammad being very compassionate. Over his for the world to his life, for the world to his life. But, like I said, the issue I had with Sirah 24 was the fact that if you have a stable and if you want to possess it now, you can have relations with her. I explained that to you how. To me, it's why you don't marry her. Okay, I say to you, if she gets pregnant, if she gets pregnant, for example, the son that she bears frees her. She becomes a free woman. So she becomes the, the mother of the son, and that son is taken by 
the, the, the father, so he inherits from him. He takes his name and that. We show me any other religion does that. I don't want to compare it to the other. No, no, no. But, but it's important. Him. No, it is important because because if you take just one piece and you pull into it and you ignore what's happening around you, then that's not a good way of, of, of reaching of reaching. Uh, 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 like I said, for me the issue is lust. I but say, that's like, not lust, as I said to you. If he's got four wives already, yeah, and then he sleeps with the maid because he's trying to possess her, yeah. For me that's lust because you already have four wives. Allah bless you enough to give you four yeah. wives. Uh, your responsibility is just four wives. But now and, and she is his responsibility too. But he feeds her. No, he gives her lodgment. He feeds her. He treats her uh, 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 properly and that. So it's not what you think. That's what I say to you. You have to compare it to others. It's not that it is his uh, right hand, but what his right hand possesses. And then that's it. He shackles her and puts her in a room and uh, doesn't feed her, doesn't clothe her and that. that. You may understand that, but that woman. And I tell you another thing. You know that, that the right hand possesses. She hasn't got to cover herself, for example. While the women, the wives, have got to cover themselves. You see, she is actually, she has got more freedom, more freedom does she, than... Does, than she the, does she have a choice to be a slave or not to be a slave? Like, like, does she have a choice? Because she go, actually, do you know what? Because you said that if she has a child, that frees her. Yeah. But can she be freed before she has a child? Can she just go, do you know what, I don't want to be... Uh, or does she have to be sold to someone else? Well, look. Normally, normally the, uh, the, 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 the the right hand what the right hand crosses, they don't sell them. That, that somebody who has got the mates, they don't sell them. Islam don't is think, a cult of Satan and devil. Don't think, for example, Islam don't think, for example, that Satan this is like uh, Islam, every time they go. How many, how many wars have the, 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 the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about, about I think, 18 or 19? All of them defended. All of them defended. Okay? So, most of them, there was about three of them where this issue of the uh, right hand crosses. Okay. Now, what you have to understand, lots of these maids, when they saw, when they saw the way, they were treated by the Muslims. And, and how they, they were. Uh, uh, how everything, how the life was conducted, and that some of them find it better Allah when they were Islam. with the king and they embraced Islam. Islam. Once they embraced Islam, they became free. Okay, so if you they convert, not a prophet. Uh, they, they're not they, 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 are, they, are free. they are free people with freedom, with freedom. And uh, uh, guess what? Guess what? One of the way of atonement, of atonement of expiation of sins like certain sins that if they are done this was the atonement for them to free a slave to free a slave so people in order to grow closer to allah they used to go buy slaves and free them free them is a pedophilia of Islam. Freedom like that. So, Muhammad so, so, how that? Yeah, 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 but, but what I'm saying, yeah, but what I'm saying, I'm saying, no, so what I'm saying, no, no, what I'm saying, look, you have got something, yeah, then you have a remedy. It's, it's kind of like, you see what he said about lust, about lust, yeah? Because that's the issue, lust. Yeah, yeah, no, but lust, you can apply that to the wife. You can say, oh, wife for wife, for example, one is enough for that. Yeah, that's what I would say. I would say one is enough. You would say that. You would say that. You would say that. But uh, I like to tell you, for example, now in America, in some, in some states, and that in some kind of, uh, of sect of Christianity. Yeah, yeah, movements. They, they have not four and that. You know, if you go the same chapter, chapter four, at the beginning, I think it's about verse four or five. Allah Jalla wa Ala says, marry two, three, four. If you can, Jesus uh, is Almighty God, but if you can, one. And, and Allah said, and you can't do justice. He even said, you can't do justice. Allah said, you can't do justice. However, my point to you would be, for example, this issue of marriage. Now, look, feminism, lots of different things. Oh, no, I definitely disagree with feminism. Yeah, but, but 
with the women, divorcing women, people in certain society, people kind of, they will not be frown on, on uh, divorced women, with children, widows, lots of things, young widows and that. Have they, these women, have they uh, urges or not? Certainly they have urges. Like, like we men have urges. They, it's the, it's our nature. Yeah, it's our nature. That's it's, not lust. I understand it's our nature, but I thought the whole point of religion and finding God was to control our urges. Yeah, that's that's. And look, in Islam, for example, now you know it's the month of fasting. That's correct. Okay. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "All oh, young men he used to encourage the youth to marry, not to fall in lust." He said, "All oh, young men." Whoever of you is the responsible, meaning has got the money. You have to you have to provide for your wife. In Islam, we don't send the wife to work. She can work, but she puts her money. We it's a must on me. A must on you to provide. It doesn't matter if she's a billionaire. I am not allowed to take a penny of hers. A penny of her. Uh, that makes sense. I, and I if I die that. and I have got money, she still inherits me. It doesn't mean that she has got money. No, she no no she inherits me. I have to clothe her. I have still even if she's a billionaire. You see you see the you see the elevation of women? Now how many people are married? And their wives, they are sitting around the pub or somewhere, and they want to go and uh, work and, uh, and come and do come at home and that. You see, but in Islam, that, like that, that, that cannot, that cannot. This is what happened. One of the reasons I like Islam, I think Islam has got some good ideas to it. Like I said, some of the verses I get a little bit like. Yeah. But, but, but I have explained to you, this verse, I, I have explained it to you, and I said to you, look, Allah Jalla wa Allah has put the remedy. Has put the remedy that three slaves, three slaves, and and and, and, and these are, no, no. But the last thing, as I say to you, as as I say to you, don't think that the man goes running to the to, to this to this. Let, let me let me just uh, let me just explain to you. I have I have rights. I have rights. I'm a man, so I'm, you know. Uh, we believe in our belief that Allah has created Adam. Then from Adam came Hawa, or what they call Eve, yeah? From him came. So it's a kind of like a bone. A bone. Even Allah speaks about the bone between a man and a woman. And the love that is between them. It's a part of him. It's a part women are part of us. So that bone. So we all, a woman longs to, to, for the man, and a man longs for the woman. Now, the only thing that the last that you speak about needs to be done in an allowable way, in a halal way, as we call it. A halal way is through matrimony. That's why. Through marriage. That's no, no, I'm, I'm coming not, to yeah, that. I'm coming that. to that. However, right. we know that women, women, as Allah willed it, they have certain. Uh, monthly issues. The monthly issues, for example, it depends on a woman. Some women can have uh, can have uh, one day. Yeah, yeah, it depends. Some, but some of them can go even 15 days. You know, for certain men, 15 days is much too much for them. Okay. But then they should control themselves. Yeah, but, but, but look, you say about control. You say about control. You know, control. Nobody. No, you see. You believe in the demons, the, the, the evil spirits, the, 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 the other power that comes and starts whispering and that. Uh, I think that's your own desires. I, I but when, yeah, you, you, it's you, you say that it's your own desires, but other people will say it's the whisper of the demon. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, but we're talking about the same thing. Yeah, but let's say the negative thoughts. Yeah. The negative, let's call them the negative yeah. thoughts. These negative thoughts, they come to one. Now, I'd rather have another wife uh, Probably the period uh, different, so I will turn to that one rather than go and look for prostitutes. See, see, you're giving a false dichotomy. You're saying if the option is go to your other wife or go to a prostitute. I say there's a third option. The third option is you remember Allah, you remember God, you thank Him, yeah. and you worship I am. Him, I am. And, you, and you let Him take away. I am, that's why, that's why, since Allah has allowed me to have more than a wife, I am to protect myself. Look, I am protecting myself because Allah in the Quran says, All you who believe, 
protect yourself and your family from a fire who has got as few stolen mankind in charge of it are angels who are stoned and angry. They do not, they do not disobey Allah in what He commands them, and they do as they are commanded. You see, so how do I protect myself from this hellfire and my family? So what I do, I get married. Let's say, for example, there is a widow. Her husband died because of an accident or something, and she has got three children. This woman with three children, she needs a man in her life. Then children need a father figure. Not, um, I can't be their father, but a father figure. You know, we are young and that. If I take that woman under my wing with my other wife and my own children, and I bring these children, I give them what they need. They won't be destitute. That woman, she hasn't got to, for example, you know, so, look, I'm not someone who is judgmental, I would judge other people for what they do. But we know that lots of the people like that, people of the night, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, they are to feed the habit of drugs, for example. Some of them, honestly, they have got children and they need to feed them, honestly. I know of cases, yeah, it's, it's that thing, it's that thing. Now, to help the society, to get a better society, then I will go and have that woman, have her as a wife. Yeah, that's right. As a wife. No problem. She has that. a right. As a wife. She has a right. As she a wife has is perfect. Right. Yeah. So, no so, issue with that. It's so just Islam, a slave. No, no. But as I explained to you, as I explained to you, now Islam is here now. So many wars have happened. So many wars have happened. And Muslims went to the to Egypt, for example, the whole of Eastern Europe, and so many other places. You go to their history and see if any women were taken and that. None. None of that. That was at the beginning of Islam, at the beginning of Islam, and that was a tribal thing. Okay. So when that used to happen, when that used to happen, Allah Jalla wa Ala made, made certain rules. You see, let me, let me just explain to you one thing. The Arabs, they were a people of, uh, the call it of lust, yeah? But, but, but not lust, just sexual lust. No, no, lust okay? is just wanting. Yeah, yeah you want it. it's wanting. Women, property, wine and that. And they used to heavy drink. Yeah. I can imagine the weather. Yeah. That and the weather. Yeah. Very dehydrated. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's too much. It plays, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so what would happen? When Allah Jalla wa Ala saw what, what, the, what the alcohol can do, he didn't come and say, stop alcohol straight away. It wouldn't have worked. Because people, even now, look, even now, Muslims do go and drink. I'm not saying that Muslims don't drink, don't, they are angels. No, we have got Muslims that can drink anyone under the table. <laughs> however, however, when Allah, he made it in great. No, first of all, he said, yeah. yeah, first of all, he said, do not go to pray while in a state of intoxication. Then, another, then he said, now you have to stop. And that, by Allah, when this verse was revealed, people took the wine and started pouring it in the streets of Medina, that the streets of Medina were absolutely full, uh, filled with, with wine uh, and that. The, 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 there was some people, you know, wine you can turn it to vinegar. Some people would not even turn the wine into vinegar. Why? Because Allah said, that's it. You have got to get rid of it. So, subhanAllah, you know, in Islam, it is moderation in everything. For example, the Prophet would tell us that you eat, when you eat, make a third for your tummy, a third for your uh, uh, liquids, meaning drink and a third for your breathing. So you see the, mo the, the motivation a balance. Islam tells us not to indulge in all these kind of things. Look at the Prophet of Islam, peace be upon him. He could have had the world, he could have had the world, he could have the world, yeah? However, even at the beginning of his prophethood, they asked him, they said to him, look, seize what you're doing and we will 
make you the richest amongst us. We will give you the most beautiful women. And actually, we will make you king over us. And one thing the Arabs hated is to have someone uh, controlling them, like a king. And tribal thing, it's all right. Because it's most of the time the same tribe. Themselves. Yeah, and it's the same tribe, and it's family, family kind of uh, related. But when you have got a king and related to so many people, it's a, a bit like a pride issue. However, the Prophet ﷺ refused. And he continued with his... Uh, but, his uh, but he did have money, he did have women, he did have power. What money did he have? Uh, his wife had money. Wasn't it gold uh, when he was going to war? Uh, yeah, make them pay yeah. Gold no, no, no. He wouldn't make him pay gold, actually. The, there, are, there, are, there are two things. There is something that we Muslims would pay. Okay. Uh, the 2.5 percent zakat. Yeah. 2.5 percent of our own uh, surplus, because it's not any money that you have got. If I just have got enough to, so if I have a surplus, and that surplus has to have a year to to, to be kept with you for a whole year, a whole calendar year. Only then, only then you have to pay the 2.5 percent. But then 2.5 percent, where did it go to? Not to the Prophet, peace be upon him. Because he's the head of the state, it goes to him. But he just distributes it amongst the, the poor people. When the Prophet died, he had nothing. Actually, he died and he had one of his, uh, what, what, what I call it, uh, uh, what, one of his shields, his only shield. It was born with the Jew for some food for his family. He pulled his own shield with the Jew because he took some food for him to feed his family. Now, this man that has got more than that couldn't afford to buy uh, that he had to pawn his own uh, his own shield. So he's very good. Look, if you look at the, if the, the, the houses of the Prophet, peace be upon him, they used to be a two meter by a two meter, two meter by a two meter. These they called them houses. They were rooms. He had nine wives, nine rooms. One next to the other. He had his wives near each other. So nine rooms. You tell me of someone, someone the head of state, that he used to live a lesser life than his subject. No, no, I think that's good. I think that's good. But I think that. That's the kind of things that I think Muslims should try to be more like, because unfortunately, I don't want to mention places, but some places like Dubai, yeah, yeah, I know, and I know. They, don't, they don't try to be like this, they don't try to be humble, they try and be more, yeah, they want to lust. <coughs> lust isn't just yeah, women, it yeah. has all these things as well, so I think this is why I... But why do you think that these people are, are like that? Because they are away from the tendency of Islam. Yeah, no, Muslim, see Muslim, it doesn't just that you have a name, you pray five days, you fast and that. It's a way of life. That's what I say, but you know, when someone told me I was wrong, they said, no, as long as you just believe, no, no. So you it's disagree? The belief and the act of them that believe. It's the act action, as well. Action. The action. Thank you. It's, it's Thank not you. just the belief. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I agree. No, no, no. I agree. No, I agree. No, because I believe without the action. What, what, what will it serve exactly. you? It's just it doesn't serve. No, it doesn't exactly. serve. No, no, no. That's why. That's why. The, we, we say Iman is prophet, professing by the tongue, belief in the heart, action of the limb. Yes, okay. I agree. Okay? I agree. So profess, believe. Act upon that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to profess it. You and have, you have to, to. It has to settle in your heart, and then you have to act upon it. Yeah. If you don't act upon it, what kind of uh, what kind of uh, uh, like uh, unfortunately, I noticed because this is the issue. This is why I don't want to go to religion. The issue is with religion. People make it a part of their identity, yeah. and then they just go, oh, because I said shahada. I will go to heaven. No, no, no. And they don't understand this. And no, I'm trying, no, no, no. This is why I don't want that, to do That's religion. why you have to. No, no. But that's why you have to, to speak. You see, uh, yeah. Allah in the Quran, what does He tell us? Ask the people of knowledge if you do not know. Ask the people of knowledge. The people of knowledge. Why the people of knowledge? Because these people of knowledge, they, Allah, 
I don't, I'm not going to say God inspired, but Allah has bestowed that favor of the knowledge upon them. Okay. What you call, what you call the, uh, the no, no, no. Before you say the something, you made a word. You say the, anyway, uh, I will come back to you. But Allah Jalla wa Ala has opened their chests to receive that knowledge, and they understood that knowledge. So they are more suited to kind of give you that message and make it so clear to you. Look, when you asked me and you said, I said to you, no, you have to do the action. You have to do the action. Without the action is nothing. But this is the thing. The people who come here to do da'wah, I would assume that if you're doing da'wah, you have you, to know these things. You must be of knowledge. You have to know these but things. But unfortunately, yeah. the people who come here to do da'wah aren't doing it for but look, see, we have this nice conversation. Very nice you conversation. Far away from, yeah. from everyone yeah. and that. And because for me, it's not. I can go and debate someone. Them, yeah, I can no. debate someone else yeah. and like, all that. But for me, is if I can just explain something to you, and I come to that with this point of the action we, we, we came to, yeah? yeah? For me, what well, that's a blessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a blessing because, no, no, but, because something now, it, it, it kind of opened for you and you... you, you I, I already understood this, but what I need is... I like it because you're not... I noticed when we had the conversation online, yeah. you weren't trying to push you weren't trying to do anything, you were trying to give knowledge, and I appreciate that. And this is why I wanted to have another conversation with you, because I think that more Muslims can learn a lot more from you than other Dawa people who are just trying to get numbers. I think it's about quality, not quantity. So I, I really appreciate your time. Thanks very much, and it's my pleasure too. You see, I always, I always have one thing, and I take it from the Quran. Allah Jalla wa Ala tells us, guidance is not in your hands. It's only me who guides. You just convey. So what I'm doing, I'm conveying. I convey, and, and I pray to him, like he said. I pray to him to guide. I pray to him to guide, like he said. That's why right before he said never, I said to him never. I never heard that before. So, so we, we just convey the message. And it's Allah that guides. You see, we say like the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to to do a beautiful dua. He used to say, "All, all, all you want who, to, who overturns heart, keep mind steadfast on your belief. Keep mind steadfast because we say." that the, the hearts are between two fingers of the fingers of the most merciful. He overturns them the way he wants. So one day you can be, but again, again you see the desires, the whims, all the lust, all of these worldly things. You see people they can take you away from him. Absolutely, absolutely. But these are tests for us. Yes. You yes, see? That's why I was saying yeah, that you should yeah. be overcoming. Yeah, us. But we Over have to be tested. We have to be tested. Imagine now, Allah said, do you, do you think that you will be granted the, the, uh, the paradise and not come through trials? No. You have to go through trials. You see? One of the things I say is the best things in life. Don't come easy. Yeah. You have to work hard for them. Thanks very much. The best. And what's the best than an eternal life in paradise? Well, for me, I don't believe for eternal life. Because I think sometimes when you have to go to or jump, uh, help my accident, everything becomes selfish. Because people are like, oh, I do this good thing because God will give me paradise. Or I do this good thing so God doesn't send me to help. I think that's very dangerous. I, I, look. You see, Allah tells us, this is my wrath, and this is my reward, okay? Now, I want to avoid Allah's wrath. However, I can do all the good deeds, and still not be granted paradise, yeah? I'm always at the mercy of Allah, but it is, it is something, when you have, when you have got a hellfire and a paradise, of course, of course, you have to, you have to excuse the next. I don't want to be punished. I do not want to be punished. If it's his will, yeah. then, no. then you accept no, it. No, no, this is no. That's why I don't no, choose. No, 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 no. In Islam, no. In Islam, we have got free will. Yeah, exactly. In Islam, we have got free will. It's the will of Allah that I go to hellfire or to death. But it's through my actions, my choices. Allah, it's, look, it's, it's in the, look. 
in Allah's knowledge, we don't know which of us is going to go well. No. Uh, by Allah, we do not know. You see, because even Allah Jalla tells us that one, one can be a Muslim and then ends up being a non, a non believer. And a non believer can be a believer towards the end of his life, just before he dies. Like uh, a man embraced Islam and the war was called. At the time of the Prophet, I know, I know the story. I know the he story. went and he got martyred. Yeah. And the Prophet yeah. said, and the Sahabi, they said, oh no, paradise, inshallah. And some of them said, he never even prostrated his head for, for Allah. You see, you see the thing about it. There is a beautiful verse in the Quran. He said, Allah knows the goodness in your heart, so goodness will come to you. You know, it's that's why I say when you seek the truth, you seek it, you seek it wholeheartedly. Put all your heart, open your heart, you put all the other kind of um, connotations that come with certain things and and attach me to this and this kind of uh, well no but if you just open that chest and ask ask this entity that you believe in ask them. i know that you are the one and there is no one besides you and you are the creator of god you have got my soul you have got my heart i am all but your creation i ask your guidance and let's see how bad it's come. He quoted the guys. This is, yeah. But this is, a, this is what me. I can't say I will become Muslim or I will become Christian or anything. Because for me, he's already given me guidance. For me, he's going, no, no, no. In order for me to ignore the guidance he's already given me, I follow someone else's guidance. For me, it's, it's not going to be good because you see, that's uh, you know, subhanallah, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, shaitan, you know, shaitan flew in the body, the human, the same as blood rushes through veins. And that's what is wrong with his blood. He's got over him. And his uh, yeah. anger. Yeah. But, but that's what I mean. The anger comes from a negative thing that wants to trap you and push you to do certain things that for well, yourselfish. Yeah. And now, and now he said that person you see that person, yeah, yeah, yeah. always have the, the, the always fights with Muslims. And you know what he does? You know what he does? He goes and he insults Allah Jalla wa Ala. And people go. Uh, you get to me all the time. You insult the God. You insult the God. You see what I would say? I would say that's I'm not testing your patience. Stop for Allah. Say it, say it, stop for Allah. Say it.
Someone come. He didn't just say insult you. He said if he comes to kill you, to fight you, to kill you, to say, I am fasting, I am fasting, I am fasting. And then but you tell him that look, I'm not going to rise to the occasion. Why? I am fasting. So this fasting is not just fasting from I'm fasting from from everything. Everything. And so you want you want you want to punch man. You want to kill kill. Well, I mean, nothing is gonna happen. I'm gonna die I'm gonna Yeah. So so you do and if that person wants to come I didn't go. But 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 you know these people in there I had I had to I, I like last week I was having a nice conversation with someone. You know, they always bring the issue of Aisha, the issue of uh, the, 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 this with her that nine years old and this. Now, look. I, I go by the academics, but the academics are, I'm not gonna someone who is 23 years old, so, some, some sect is paying him and none of them has got a job. But honestly, honestly, I know them. So, so what they do, they come and start attacking in this way. If I just go to an academic, but it's not a Muslim, and it's not, not just one, a few of them. These people have got the knowledge, the research, and they have they done thesis, they have done doctoral uh, uh, levels, and that, not one and that, and did so many researches. And they come, not defending Islam, but saying, but no, this is and this and this. Who are you to who are you to object? When, when you show them yoga, when they think I'm tested, I will do this again. Because they know they don't react. You see, I'm a diabetic person. And you know diabetes, it's 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 it's, um, it's a hormonal thing as well, yeah? But sometimes it's not me, but it's the, it's the diabetes that goes. I didn't know that. I was So what, did, that, what we do, we say, if one of you gets angry and he's standing, let him sit down. If he's sitting down, let him lay down. Why? Because you see, when you lay down, you cannot get up and do anything. If he's standing up, you can do something. But if you sit down, you sit down, that's something else. And 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 it's all it's all like that. Now, also what he said, he said, please be up him, he said, do ablution, do ablution, the cleaning. Why? Because when we do ablution, 
actually that fire is being extinguished. Okay, okay. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so so this is this is what we do. But as I said, as I said, you are on a journey. You are on a journey, and as I I got down when we were talking at that time on that, I would say look, you are Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah, you are an open minded, you are an open minded person. But you are, you are, you are a reasonable person. So, so this, this, this kind of music, you know, use this kind of, you see, you see, so how I said, you see, I try to be, you know, this, this, so there is part of you that sometimes, as I said, to you, we are human. We are human. Emotion, emotion can suppress it. But sometimes it takes the best of it, the best of it, the best of us. You know, you might end it. We can end it, but it's just no, no. It's a Christian. It's a Christian. What's his name? Okay. It's a Christian. He's an ex ex Muslim. It's it's nice to you, but when it comes, uh, it starts being nice and then it starts insulting. And that's that, that's the. Uh, but, but, uh, you know, to be honest with you, look, our conversation in the studios, the voices are going But with them, they ask you a question. But it's, they are not asking the question to acquire an answer. Thank you. It's not even tricky. They want. They ask you that question in order, in order to provoke a reaction. Provoke a reaction. You ask me about the nine, nine, uh, the marriage to a nine-year-old. Uh, uh, I'm telling you, we have to go back in time to 1400 years ago. You cannot apply the laws the logic of, and the of that society yeah. now. Oh, what is a child for you now, not there. And, and you know, subhanAllah, I said to them uh, last week, I said, look, in America, in some states, a 13 year old that is a child can be married. No, no. I said, it's a Christian country. And these are Christians, by the way, because it's down south. New Hampshire, in America, yeah. New Hampshire, Massachusetts, 13 years old for the girls, 14 years old for the boys. However, there is a caveat in there that it needs parental consent. In Islam, you don't need parental consent, you need the consent of the person. And even in Islam, it's like, it's like uh, we can have people married at early age. But that's just the contract. Yeah, yeah. they don't live together. They yeah, do anything nothing. Yeah, that's nothing. the throttle. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all afterwards. And even then, when they reach that puberty or maturity, let's say, and you know, maturity has got a new age. Yeah. Sorry, they're just sort of jumping up and they're, they're celebrating something. Maturity, you know, maturity. Maturity has got a new age. Maturity. I know people that are 40 and immature. <laughs> immature. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what I mean. So, immature. And you see someone who is 12 years old and absolutely mature. I sometimes, look, you know, in no, the conflict in Gaza and that, I see certain kids, kids, the way they're speaking, they have lost everything. Their houses, their parents, everything. Orphans and them, and they talk to them. So they have to die to them. Not crying, not anything. You see, and that's maturity. And on the other hand, you see someone who who just lost a wallet and, and he's uh, you know <laughs> broken nail. Yeah, broken nail as yeah. you said and that. So, so subhanallah. I'm gonna I'm gonna make this last point and then we can yeah. finish if that's okay. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so I agree with you like the, the sometimes that we have to look beyond the modern day standards and apply them to history. Um, 
But unfortunately, what I think one issue is that I see with some Muslims is they will use the excuse, oh, you know, we all make mistakes, you know, we're not perfect, as to why they feel lust, as to why they can be angry. But this is what some people do. Yeah. They use these, this excuse to say, oh, you know, we all aren't perfect. But then they'll go to the Quran and they'll say, but I could do this because the Quran says so. So when it suits them, they'll make excuses for what the Quran says on how they should behave and say, oh, but we're not perfect. But at the same time, they are using other parts of the Quran to justify something they want. Well, look, and I, 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 I that, find that, 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 that that's, that's, that when we take, when you take something, you've got, you have to take it all, all. Yeah, yeah. all you don't something. take, because Allah, Jalla even in the Quran, it says, do you believe in part? and disbelieve in other parts. You have to take all parts and apply them. Some of them you may not like because they don't suit us. It's like it says that you have to to be just and tell the truth, even if it's against oneself. Even if it's against oneself. You have to tell it. So which means no lies. No lies. Even to save your own skin. No. Oh, so you don't have to kill. No, no, that's a Shia. That's okay. a Shia. Okay. Okay. That's a Shia. Okay. That's a Shia. But then they're going against the Quran. If the Quran says that you should always tell the truth, even if it goes against yourself. Yeah. Look, I have stone. I have stone. Okay. The reason why I have stone is I was hungry. Okay. Now I've been caught, but nobody has seen. There are two things. I take the punishment of the, of the dunya, or, oh. <laughs> yeah. but I'd rather take this. Yeah, exactly. But look, I will be presented before a magistrate, the, 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 the scholar, yeah? And he says, why did you? I say, look, I did steal. Nobody has seen me, but he has seen me. Why? I was hungry. You know, maybe, I told the truth, hunger and that. Then I might not be punished. No, exactly. You see, yeah, you see, because yeah, yeah. and another thing, another thing. The the Prophet said, "Worship Allah as if you see Him. For if you don't see Him, He sees you. So, so always, even when you are on your own, there is someone." No, no, he's watching. He's watching. Don't just think. No, 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 but yeah, he you have to. He's watching. He's watching. Yeah, yeah. So don't, in, when you are in your own lap, don't start doing things like, look, now the fasting. You see, we are fasting and that. But once I go in, in a room and that, I'll indulge in food yeah, and that. Yeah, yeah. And then I clean myself and I come out. Oh, oh it's a good and that. You understand? Yeah, yeah. See, you don't know. You take me for my word and on face value. Yeah. But he, he so, knows so and the, the most, the, the highest point of submit of submitting to, uh, to to the Almighty is when you reach that. So look, there is Islam, which is the profession and that. Then there is Iman, that's a uh, stage. And then there is Ihsan. Okay. Ihsan is the highest, and not everybody is a Muslim. Not everyone, not every Muslim, even not every Muslim is a believer in that. And not every believer is a Muslim. So Ihsan is the, it's that's when you want to do anything. Because you know that, he's always watching. He's always watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so someone when he goes and fornicates, he doesn't think that he's watching. Because he is in a room on his own, nobody in here, doors are locked, I'm fine. So all Muslims should try and do something like Ihsan. So that that level, if you reach it, I think this is a good message for my followers because this is they think I'm being uh, they say I'm closed in the heart because I don't accept the Quran and I'm like no no I, look, look as I said as I say as I say you said never and I said to you never say never yeah we heard it all before yeah. and actually one of them uh, is here is here that he said he will never and he just ended up uh, becoming a Muslim not uh, not long ago you see as I say to you. The hearts are in between two fingers of the fingers no, no, of Allah, of the Almighty, yeah? At the end of the day, we don't know how it's going to end for us. No, I don't know how it's going to end. You know, 
we'll finish it with this. There is a hadith of the Prophet. It's a long hadith, but I'll come just to yeah, the end. And this is it's a sahih hadith, or okay. authentic, yeah. yeah? It's in Muslim, and it's narrated by Ibn Mas'ud, one of the top companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him. At the end of the hadith, he said, one of you, this is the Prophet telling us, that one of you does the, the deeds of the people of paradise until there is an arm's length between him and paradise, meaning he's so near. Then that's what's been decreed, the will of Allah. Remember before? Yes. That's been been decreed. It comes to pass. And he will do the deed of the people of uh, the hellfire and he will end up in the hellfire. You see, all his life doing good deeds. Then comes the end, he ends up in the hellfire. And I will explain why. Then one of you does the deeds of the people of the hellfire until there is an arm's length between him and the hellfire. Then that which is decreed come to pass and he will do the deeds of the people of paradise and he'll end up in paradise. Now you ask, how is? Now that person that was doing all the good deeds, you have to ask, was it really for the sake of him or? This is why I was saying earlier. You see, when it is for the sake, for when, the, for him. Yeah, when it's for the sequel, uh, for my own sake, yes. then that's no. not accepted. Yeah, yeah. You see, because what you have done, you have associated partners with him. You have already put yourself a partner to him. You're dealing with him, you're trying to make some bargain. You see, yeah. and it's not like that. Yeah, good. So, on this point, uh, may Allah guide you and guide you. all of us uh, to what is best. Ibn Hazm. Ibn Hazm. Ibn Hazm. And inshallah, for next time. Check him out. Really good guy. I think he's got his own YouTube page. Thank you so much. Thanks I really appreciate much. that. Okay. Thank you.